Has Arteta had enough of Mesut Ozil's crap already? Hey gone guys, hope everyone is doing well. Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be talking to you about Mesut Ozil. But before getting to that, if you can just smash that like button and subscribe if you're new, that will be awesome. So let's get into it. Uh, Mikel Arteta, he's had a press conference for the Brighton game and the Mesut Ozil topic came up. And rightly so, considering he wasn't in the squad for the game against Manchester City. So I'm just on Arsenal's YouTube at the moment. And I'll play a little bit of the press conference and we can have a listen for ourselves. Specific tactical reason, are you able to shed some light on that? And also, how did he take the decision? I've been very open from, with Mesut from day one. Um, and uh, since I joined, um, I thought that he was fit and he was willing and he wanted to perform at the level that he can do. He's played every game with me, I think. Um, so that's it. The moment that I see that he is ready again to do that, I will treat him like. All right. Why isn't this guy ready? He's on 350k a week. He's had three months off. So what the hell has he been doing? Playing Fortnite all day? Like, I'm sorry, but it's not acceptable, man. Like anybody else, I think I've been more than fair with him and I think he has responded in many games the way I want and all right Mikhail let's cut the crap he has not responded he has been bang average and you know if anything all right he's improved slightly but it's still not good enough and that's it just a final one on that why was he not ready was it to do with any sort you, you, you mentioned tactical why, why was he not ready to to, to, to play because he thinks Arsenal's a fucking holiday man the guy's bloody playing Fortnite all day and he's probably been stuffing around this whole time in this bloody pandemic situation so you know I, I bet he didn't do any training at all and he's not fit enough to play oh it's a lot of happened to him in the last um, few weeks and I have to respect uh, the timing of every player that what could have possibly happened for him to not train? It needs sometimes a little bit of time. It's been difficult preparation in the last two months to get players ready. And again, I am... Look, I think he just doesn't want to say that he's been lazy. So he's just beating around the bush here. The first one that wants Mesut at the best, and I'm going to put him on the pitch when I think he can give his best. Um... Which will most likely be never, because... This guy's been finished for the last five years. It's just on Mesut. I just wondered, how does he react when you tell him he's not playing? Does he get angry? Does he get upset? Does he ask you questions? How does he react? He's probably like, yes. He was very, very well with me. There was no issues at all. He doesn't, but does he, does it, does he say to you, why aren't I playing? My conversation. He knows why he's not playing. He knows his shit. And with Mesut, they're going to remember between him and me. What I can tell you is that there was, it was completely fine, honest and clear conversation. That's it. And in terms of... All right, so let's look at a few articles uh, talking about this situation. So the first one is from TalkSport.com. And it's reading that scathing Mesut Ozil is disrupting Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta and it can't go on for much longer. And saying that Adrian Durham has accused Mesut Ozil of undermining Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta and believes the situation at the Emirates has to be resolved sooner rather than later. And, yeah, I, I really just can't... I can believe it, but it's very disappointing. You know, he's the, our highest earner, man. He's on so much money and he's not even ready. He's not even ready when Arteta probably needs him the most, you know, since he's our most creative player. And, you know, he can't even get fit. So, it's obvious he's milking it. He's milking it at Arsenal. He's saying he loves the club in his one of his tweets here. No matter what, holding his badge. Man, you say you love the club, but you can't even get fit to play. So, we know you're milking it, bro. We know you are. You know, he's got one year left on his deal. And I just want to see him out. I'm sick of it, man. I'm honestly sick of it. So, uh, there's another article here. 
Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta says German is not ready to give his best, like we heard in the um, in the press conference. So, yeah, he's pretty much saying he's unfit and he's a lazy piece of shit. And another article here from Daily Mail. Mikel Arteta called Mesut Ozil to explain why he was not included in Arsenal's squad to face Manchester City. As he told midfielder, he expects more in training, but insists he's still part of his plans for the season. I think it's just the... Arteta's is just sending him a little message saying that, you know, if you get fit, I will use you again. But look, I'm sure Arteta's very disappointed in Mesut Ozil. And look, if we don't see him play against Brighton or even the next match, it means that Arteta wants him out. And if it was up to me, I'd put him up for sale right now and I'll get him I'll get rid of him for any cost. It doesn't matter if it's free, just get rid of him, get rid of the wages, so we can start this rebuilding and bring in players that actually want to play for us, man. Not this shit. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a good one, and I'll see you all next time. I'm out.